What's up, future fighters? We are back. Uh, this is video number six in today's series on transitioning uh, counter control into strike control for the Shadow AI. These are the videos I've already uploaded here. And uh, we're working on, you're watching video number six. So you can go to YouTube, my YouTube channel, and look, at, look up the Making a Future Fighter playlist. And you can find all that. So let's go to the code. So where we left off was we are uh, putting strike control in here. So we're just going, what we're going to do is, what I usually do is I just, I don't, I try not to delete if I don't have to. I just try to comment out and we're going to, we're going to call strike control. Uh, this is, that's the call for strike control here. Um, and you can go back and watch the previous videos uh, in the playlist on strike control. We have I have all the details on how that works there. Oh, sorry. Ah. Um. So let's see here. So that makes the call to strike control. And what's going to happen from there is, let me bring over strike control. What's going to happen from there is, well, it, it's going to, we'll test this part out separately. But for now, since we're just dealing with these, these here, we're going to skip this part uh, here at the top, this if statement. We're going to skip all of that. And we are going to go to, the, to this statement. And of course, we're going to be working here. And I explain all that in the previous videos from today's series. So you can go back and watch those to understand how all this works. Then what we're going to do is, in this particular case, uh, transition type here is 0. So that would be here. We're going to pass to here. And we're going to block will be held down from defense. So we're going to set it to 0. And then we're going to choose one of these moves. Now. Um, I have this backwards, actually. <laughs> I just realized. So the way we want to do it is let's see here. That's pretty funny. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and it's just easier for us to work with. That is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> and this is why I kind of run the game in my head first before I load it up. I kind of run the, you know, as if the game is running in my head. And I'm kind of, wa what I'm doing is I'm watching the game on one side of my brain, the actual, the actual game. So, so I'm watching, I'm watching all of this on one side in my head. I kind of have like a screen on one side. And then on the other side, I have this. I have the code running. And they're kind of, they run in tandem. That's how I see it. Uh, and, you know, I, I gave myself a, an, an error <laughs> here because um, if block is held down, you don't want to release it. You want to go right into these counters. Uh, but if it is held down, then that's when you want to release it because these, um, well, that is interesting. Because 0 and 32 will work here, but you don't need to release block for them. Um... So what you can, what we could do is, there's a couple of different ways to do this. And I'm kind of seeing a bunch of different things in my head um, moving forward. But for now, one easy way uh, to do this would be just to I'm going to show you let's 
So If a counter move is chosen, then you can just release block. And what we can do is we could actually build like a, an array of the counter moves and have it run through, just run through the array. That way we don't have to manually do it in the future. This will kind of get done what we need to get done today to test the concept though. So before we go and put in all that work, let's just make sure uh, you know this is going to function the way we the way we think uh, it will. And who knows? We might be able to. Yeah, let's let's find out. Let's find out first. So it's uh, kind of an escape sequence. So going through this again, if block is held down, you go right into your counters. Otherwise, you're going to pick pick another move if you happen to pick if if you if um let's see here so you'd need another check here and you can see where this is kind of getting you know it's like wait there's too many checks here there's got to be a better way to kind of consolidate all this but I don't worry too much about that until after I write out the structure, and if it works in game, then we know the concept works. Then we can we can go back and um, and and really make all this code nice and tight and work together much better. Because obviously there's too many checks, right? So we're missing something. We don't need to check this twice. Uh, there's there's a way we can reorganize this code to check it once, and then you know make these decisions. But um, for now, let's just let's just kind of go through this. So. Uh, so we're zero, block is held down, we, we check that initially, um, because we just want him to do just those moves, isolated. But if block isn't held down, you can choose from any of these moves. Another option would be to take counters out, but um, if you take counter out, you don't need any of this. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that, though. So... Um, so you choose one of those, and if you didn't pick a counter, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on a second. This is hold on a second. This is actually pretty good. Let's 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 let's. <laughs> we're gonna turn the AI off real quick. I think we we may have made it even easier. Okay. So I'm gonna pretend I'm Shadow AI over here. Uh, so you can see my controller on the on the screen there. So what happens is Shadow AI. This guy's tough and. He nails them. Shadow AI guys into combo escape sequence and it comes out in block. Boom, boom. And like that. And he says, okay, I'm good to go. I can fire off a counter. And he goes into strike control. And strike control says, if block is held down, just do one of your counter attacks. Now, that's perfect. That's the way we want to work. Now, let's say strike control we're not in, and we're not in coming out of the combo escape sequence, and which is move number 10. And we're coming in here, and we're like, we just want to attack. And it comes up, case zero comes up, and says, I want to just do, you know, this short range combo like this. And it would go into the code, case zero, it would say block isn't held down, and then it could pick from these, so you don't even need to release block. I, I uh, don't know where I had this come from. I guess I was thinking, I guess I was thinking it was coded from the standpoint of counter control, 
but it's not. It's programmed from it's from defense, in other words. It's actually programmed from offense, so it's already built to do this. And you know, there's there's no there actually you don't need you don't need this release at all. How about that? Look at this. How's this for simplification? Watch this. <laughs> Now this is you do have to release here, but down here you don't need to you don't need to release anything. And I've already it I, I looks like I've deleted my pseudo code here, so we'd have to go back to a previous script. Yeah, we'd have to go back to a previous script to find that. We're not going to do that, but this will work just fine for both case zero and case two. So let's let's um, let's give it a try. Let's give it a test. Uh, if you would like to see that go to docbrockgames.com and check out the alpha version of the game. You can see the features I currently have in the game. You can see the two characters I currently have motion captured in the game. And you can see those characters, motion captured moves, and features in action. Put your email address in at the bottom to get notified when the game comes out. Then come back to YouTube and we're going to test this code out. I'll see you there.